Sebi D, FPV, thank you for five Canadian dollars. Sebi, let's see, got a question on the Discord server. Uh, Sebi D is having LED strip problems. Thank you for being a patron, Sebi, and thank you for your support. Uh, uh, super chat. Um, I'm having LED strip problems on my Betaflight STM32 F7X2. The board name is Mamba F722I2C. Uh, I know the answer. LED strip is not working. Uh, here's your problem, Sebi. I got you. I just helped somebody with this problem uh, earlier this week. Maybe, it, I guess it wasn't you or you wouldn't be asking. The Diatone Mamba flight controllers have built-in LED controllers so you don't have to use LED strip. There's literally a button on it. There's a button on it that just outputs different colors and you just press the button and change the change the LED settings. But there is a solder bridge. You have to solder. If you don't solder this solder bridge, LED strip won't work. So you need to solder this solder bridge like shown here to get LED strip working. Sebi, that's the answer. Let me just check and see. Let's just see if he says, oh no, I already did that. He says the solder bridge is done. Crap. Well, <laughs> damn. Really thought that was going to do it. Um, so if I had a flight controller and LED strip wasn't working and the solder bridge was done, the next thing I would do is I would go into beta flight. One second. I would go into beta flight. And we're going to look in the configuration tab. And we're going to make sure that LED strip is enabled, which on yours it probably is. Once LED strip is enabled, the next thing I would do is I would go to the CLI and I would type resource show. And I would look for the LED strip, not LED. That's LED. That's not what you're looking for. Hang on. Let me zoom in on this a little bit so you can see it easier. I would search for the LED strip resource right here. BO3 LED strip. If you don't see the LED strip resource in there, then the LED, the LED function is not working for whatever reason. Like there's a conflict or something. Um, and I would just double check that that's there. So if that is not there, it means that even though you went into configuration and turned on LED strip, there's something preventing it from working. Sebi says that BO3, it says, it says that it is working and on BO3. Um, so that means that the flight controller agrees that you've enabled the LED function. Um, can you, can you do this? Can you change that solder bridge and try the diatone method? Try the diatone controller and see if the LEDs are even working. That's a thought. And do they work? Sebi says they did. Do they work? He's going to say they did work. <laughs> Didn't work. Oh, okay, good. Okay, so either your LEDs are screwed up or your like your LEDs are the LED strip is broken. Is it is it a programmable LED strip? Or is it just a, a DC LED strip? Maybe the voltage going to the LED strip is insufficient. It's nice to know that it's not a beta flight problem though. What is the diatone method? Brandon uh beans asked. Brandon, on the diatone flight controllers. At the four corners of the flight controller, there are four LED plugs, and there's an LED button next to the bootloader button. It, the Diatone has a built-in LED controller where you just push that button and it makes the colors. And if you don't want to screw around with Betaflight LED config, you can just use the Diatone LED controller. Uh, check your wiring on the LED strip. Make sure you're using the in and not the out, you know? 
these are some things to think about. Um, all right. Um, but I would say if it doesn't work with the diatone LED controller, then there's something wrong with the LEDs themselves or the wiring. Oh, you are using the SW601 diatone LED. Well, it doesn't get simpler than that. Um, okay, so you're using this exact LED. It's plugged into this plug. I would bridge it for, for motherboard LED, and then I would press that LED button to see what happens. And if they don't work, that it, like it's it's the diatone LED, it's the diatone LED controller, it's a diatone flight controller. If they don't work, then either your flight controller or your LED is messed up. That's the bottom line. And I would just I'd swap the LEDs, try buying new LEDs. Uh, if they still don't work, then the flight controller has some issue. But that seems less likely than a messed up LED to me.